Hi guys, welcome back to Smithy Golfs. So, 2019, new season, a lot of people were changing their equipment and uh, putting new things in the bags. I thought I'd talk to you through what's in my golf bag for this season. So, we'll start off with the putter. So, those of you that might have seen my um, what's in the bag for last year would have seen that I haven't changed my putter this year. So, still continuing with the uh, tailor made Montana Ghost. It might be a little bit um, dirty for now, but a putter that I've gotten very well over the last couple of years, putting being one of my strokes. So um, it's got the super stroke mid size grip on, uh, mid sim 2.0. I've had it pro cord, so it feels a little bit uh, softer across the face. Um, it might need a little bit of a touch up, it's a little bit dirty, a little bit scratched, so I'm hoping to get it touched up um, by one of the local pros in my area. So it's at the top of the bag and I have continued uh, to use my log wedge. So I've got the Ping 58 degree um, it's a Ping Glide standard so SS. Uh, just a standard wedge flex and it's got the multi-compound golf pipe grip. Um, love these, the feel of these with them kind of um, higher lofted clubs when you're trying to get a really soft hand in around the green and the bunker. Um, decided not to change it, was going to change this out and put a cleaver in the bag but decided to keep it. Still got quite a bit of grooves left and absolutely love this club. So on to the biggest change. So I have just put these in the golf bag uh, about a week or so ago. They are the King Cobra FPIs. Uh, they came out, I think it was 2008, so they're over a year newer than the pings I was using before. Um, got them second hand, they're in really good condition, hardly any kind of nicks off them or anything like that. Shafts are still really good. Um, they are NS Pro regular flex. Um, I have had them regret, so I've had the uh, Gold Pride CP2 uh, wraps, I think they're called, and put on these. They're nice and soft, nice and tacky. Um, so for the summer, they're going to be absolutely lovely. And uh, yeah, something that is much needed with, with uh, golf clubs. Slightly less forgiving than the pings I was using before, so you'll see that they are not quite as chunky and um, I actually really like that slightly softer feel um, and it's just making me play that a little bit better and having to pure my needle a little bit more so not blade still kind of capped you back um, still a bit helpful but not as thick and chunky as my pins were so another new club for the bag this season is I've dropped my four iron out of the bag so I just go down to five iron now um, I've actually replaced my four iron with this the Cobra F8 Full hybrid, so it's a 22 degree F8 hybrid. Um, it's got the standard stock uh, Rogue Pro uh, R75 gram shaft in it from the dealer. Um, standard Cobra Connect with their standard grips on. Um, had it shortened by half an inch, so I was just finding I was occasionally catching a little bit heavy. Um, since trying out a couple of times on the range, uh, found it really works for me. Um, as you can see from the short few videos I've put up here, um, absolutely love this club. So much better than my four iron. I use it quite a lot on the home course at the moment, Dawlish Warren, because um, I don't need to be particularly long to see the place your way around there. So this club has been a fantastic investment. So now onto what is probably my biggest change in a bag. So for the last year I've had a free wood in the bag um, and I've really struggled with it. Um, I didn't use it that often when it goes when it was when I was hitting it well it was great and I just wasn't consistent. So I have decided to actually change out the free wood. I haven't actually got free wood in a bag, so it was a 15 and a half degree lofted free wood. I've actually replaced it with this. So it's a Titleist uh, 909 hybrid, it's a 17 degree hybrid. So I'm going to be using that a lot for off the tee where I've got maybe longer par threes, kind of 200 yard par threes. Um, if I'm just trying to place my way onto a short par four, for example, and just still getting it in and out of that trouble. So if I leave myself kind of stuck behind a bush or a tree, I can just knock it out, keep it low, um, and get myself back into play and scoring. Um, it's actually a stiff flex. I got this from a friend of mine at work. Um, standard Titus Voodoo shaft, quite a low launching shaft. Um, so again with the multi-compound grip on that one from Golf Pride as well. Um, only hit this a couple of times, uh, mainly in the bay um, uh, in golf, um, but I absolutely love it. Um, looking forward to getting out of the course this weekend and trying it out and just seeing what it does. Now on to the big dog. Haven't changed it. G30. SF Tech, 10 degree, 
I'm locked down to 11 at the moment, so I'm struggling with getting height with my driver. Um, it's the SFZ version, so it's still helping with that slight push that I struggle with. Uh, regular, um, regular ping TFC um, shaft, and the, again the multi compound grip from uh, Golf Pride. I absolutely love the feel of them. Um, drive, drive is something I've struggled with a little bit this season, but this finds fairways. Um, I get length with other clubs I've tried out, and I struggle to keep it on the planet. Um, so for me, I'm keeping with this in the bag at the moment. So on to other things in my bag. So golf balls, I'm sticking with these, the uh, Tame Project A. Um, absolutely love the feel of them. They're a little bit soft than something like TB5 or Pro V1. Um, so I love the fact that they don't feel too firm with the dry ball with um, woods, for example. Um, Use them last year. I wouldn't change them. I think they're an absolutely great ball. Um, might try the TP5s later on in the year when it's a little bit uh, warmer and a little bit firmer out there. But for me at the moment, I feel like I just need that little bit of a softer golf ball in these wet conditions. So absolutely loving these and we'll continue to use them into 2019 season. Moving on to gloves. Now one thing most people overlook and just don't worry too much about gloves. Um, for me it's really important. So this time of year, uh, you know, it's the end of February to the start of March, uh, here in England, so it's starting to warm up, it's still a bit cold and a bit wet. Um, so for me, I've been using these, the um, Weathersoft from Footjoy. I absolutely love the feel of them, um, they give me loads of grip, and uh, again, a ball mark with them as well, which is quite a nice little touch. Um, so yeah, I've been using these for the last six months, um, and again, I don't think I'll change them for Footjoy, I think they're one of the best gloves in the market in the Weathersoft. Moving on to kind of wetter conditions, so I've got a pair of these, the um, Foot Joy Rain Grip gloves. So you wear them as a pair. They are fantastic. If you are ever struggling with losing grip on your golf club, even if it's quite warm club, so before I got my irons re gripped, I tried these out in a wet condition with the old grips on, and they worked an absolute treat. So for me, um, these are a must. Keep them in a golf bag all year round with all to prove so if I'm playing, it starts raining, I've always got them on a golf club. No excuses for getting three balls away around a golf course and you know and dropping points because you're losing grip on a golf club. These are great. And on to a real basic, so um, tees, people don't really think again about tea is not really important to a lot of people to pick up a piece of wood or a bit of plastic and stick it on top. Uh, for me, I use um, these PTS Pro Length, I think they're made by Maybe I come from golf, prior golf alignment maybe. Um, you can get them in most golf stores um, or pro shops. I use the uh, the yellow ones for my driver, pushing down into the ground just to the yellow mark. Um, I then use a slightly smaller wooden tee for stuff like uh, my woods and my hybrid. Uh, just find with wood, the wooden tees are just, it sounds really silly, but I just feel like I I pack the ball a lot cleaner. Um, there's something about having that plastic kind of sat on the golf ball, it just doesn't work for me, um, it's just not something I prefer to feed up, so keeping with wooden teeth again this year. Um, so thanks for checking out my what's in a bag, uh, lots more videos coming for you soon, I'm going to be doing a few on the course over this weekend um, around mid-handicap golfer uh, feels and what goes on in the mind, so from my own point, uh, personal point of view, and also some course blog. So, I'm hoping to link up with some other YouTubers to play a lot more courses in and around the southwest, down in the Cornwall, and hopefully Somerset and, uh, and Dorset as well. So, plenty to watch out for. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, there are some fantastic videos coming your way, and don't forget to like if you liked my What's in the Bag. See you soon.